Hi! In this video, we continue the exploration of the Flipper Zero functions. Today, we check the I button function. The I button consists of a microchip encased in a 16mm thick stainless steel enclosure, looking like a button. In essence, it is similar to smart cards. For example, it can be placed on large machinery, shipping containers, or other areas. The Flipper Zero will be able to read, write, and emulate Dallas DS1990A, Cypherall, and Metacom protocols. In the I button menu, you have three options read, saved, add manually. With the read button pressed, the Flipper Zero is awaiting for I button. Simply make sure the I button is in contact with the two captors. This one should be in contact with the side of the I button, and the other one should be in contact with the middle part. When the I button is read, press the More button to access more menu options. Save. It will save the dump of the I button on your Flipper Zero. When you press Save, you'll have to name the dump to be able to emulate or write it later. The second function is emulate. Pretty straightforward, the Flipper Zero will emulate the I button until you get out of the emulate mode. We verify. We compare the emulation with the original key. We have a perfect match. The last function is write. When you press write, the Flipper Zero is awaiting for a writable I button to make a perfect copy. You can feel the Flipper Zero vibrating when the copy is done. We verify the copy. It is perfect. Going back to the main menu, we have Add Manually. This option simply lets us enter the key manually. For that, you have to pick the protocol that you want to use and then enter the key manually. Going back in the main menu, we have saved. There you can access previous dumps or save copy if you prefer. When you click on the dump, you have the choice of emulating that dump, write that dump, edit that dump, you can modify the keys. You can also choose to delete the file or finally to get more information about that file. On top, you can see the name of the file. In the middle part, the keys. And at the bottom, you can see the protocol that is used. Let's check the basic workflow. For the first example, we need to do a read and save. Reread the I button and save the dump on the Flipper Zero to be able to emulate or copy it later. So the first step is to read the I button. Then we press more, save, and type a name. and save the dump. The second common scenario is to emulate an I button. When we want to emulate an I button, we can read the I button and emulate it, or we can also choose to use a save dump from our Flipper Zero. When we emulate, we need to make sure that the two poles are in direct contact with the I button's reader. We verify with the original. It's a perfect emulation. Last case scenario, you need to make a copy of your I button to a coworker or a family member. We open a dump of the I button in our flipper. We press write. And we write the dump on the writable I button. Thank you for watching this video and if you found it useful, please like and share it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel to get notified when new videos are released. And of course, visit lab41.com to check out our curated collection of pentesting tools. Stay safe and see you next time.